Hello everyone, Marine here for Learn Fun. Thank you so much for joining me on this new video, which will give you a taste of spring with this lovely garden scene with strawberries and flowers and some fun little goats. As always, let's check out the supplies we need to make this card. We have the platform pop-up die set. You got this for three cute goats and the greeting. Critters on the farm for the fence, very special for the strawberries and the bee, garden before and afters for the flowers, wild wolves for the big rock, and extraordinary Easter for the chicks and the grass. So let's start with the coloring. I stamped all my images on white cardstock using Lanfon Jet Black ink. I used the coordinating dies to cut them all, and I am going to color everything using my graphite brush markers and my Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers. And this card was actually a request from my mom. It will be one of her best friend's birthday in a few days. And her friend, she has a big garden, she grows strawberries every year, and she also has goats and hens. And we have all those things in the Lanfon Stems collection, so her coming birthday was the perfect timing for a new video.
So now it's time to build our platform. And I started off by cutting two main panels out of Stratmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. I am going to use oxide inks and to me this paper is just perfect to apply and blend those inks. We are going to turn the top section into grass and then the rest of the panel into soil. To make the inking process quick and easy, I am using my silicone mat. I am temporarily sticking my panel to it. I am also dividing my panel using washi tape. And to color this part of the panel into grass, I am going to use shabby shutters and modlone oxide inks, which is my favorite combination when I make grass on spring, Easter or summer cards. Now, you know that I never leave an oxiding background without adding texture. First, I am mixing some rustic wilderness oxide ink with water, and I am using my trusty small brush to make splatters on the grass section we just created. And every time I make a grass border, I like to give the illusion of daisies, so I am also adding splatters of Copic opaque white ink that I mixed with a little bit of water. So I did the same on the second panel and on three hill borders as well. And now we are going to turn this big white space into soil using anticlinan and vintage photo oxidings. So everything is dry, we have our two main panels, our three hill borders, and I also cut three T-shaped pieces out of white cardstock. So first thing first, let's fold all the score lines on the two panels. I am using a bone folder to press really well on the paper. Now let's do the same on two of the T-shaped pieces. And on the third one, we don't need the tab at the bottom, so I'm just cutting it off. Off screen, I am going to add double-sided tape on the main panel's tabs, and on the top part of each T-shaped piece as well. And then I will attach a hill border at the top of each T-shaped piece. So now I am taking one of the panels. I am folding the bottom part just like that. I am putting a T-shape through the slot and the heel border on that T-shape is facing down. I am pulling on the T-shape really well. 
removing the backing papers of the tab and sticking that tab to the panel. Next, I am peeling the backing paper of this tab and folding the grass section down to stick it to the tab just like that. So now we have the first half of our platform. Let's do the same with the second panel. We are folding the bottom section, placing the T-shaped piece and this time the heel border is facing up, pulling really well on the T-shaped piece. Next, we can remove the backing paper of the tab, fold that tab behind to stick it to the panel. Now we are peeling this backing paper off, so we can fold the grass section down and attach it to the tab to finally form the second half of our platform. So now, before we can assemble both halves, we need to stick the remaining T-shaped piece the one with no tab at the bottom. I am adding double-sided tape at the back, but just on the vertical section, not on the horizontal line. Peeling the backing papers, and I am going to line it up with the bottom of my panel and place it right in the center, just like that. Now we can place both halves next to each other, just like that. I like to line them up with the grid on my glass surface and we can attach both halves to each other. Next, we need to add double-sided tape all over this rectangle section and we're just going to fold the half on the left on top of the other half, making sure to align everything as nicely as possible. The last step to complete our platform is to attach the remaining tab. And now we can pop up our platform and we already have a cute landscape that we can embellish with our images. I am using liquid glue to stick the ones on the hill borders and I will use foam squares to stick the ones on the outside. So at this point, I decided to use strips of acetate to attach the goats, the bees and the hens. I have found in the past that when I stick images inside pop-up cards, the images tend to curl up a little bit. So by using acetate, it keeps the images straight and the recipient of the card doesn't get bended images on their card. And we don't want that. We want the card to stay nice and cute over time.
the last final step is to stamp our greeting. I picked a pinkish red paper from the textured canvas pink paper pack to match it with the strawberries. I treated my piece of paper with powder to make it anti-static. I am stamping my sentiment using Lanfone Clear Embossing Ink. A little bit of white embossing powder on top of the ink. And next, I am melting and setting the powder using my heat gun. I used the small frame die from the platform pop-up die set to cut my greeting, and I am sticking it on the front of the platform using foam squares. And that's it! This is the final result, and it's so lovely! I love how it turned out. I love this mix and match of images. It makes a super cute scene. I hope that you guys and also my mom's friend will like it. Thank you so much for stopping by and see you next time. Bye.